Today I'm going to introduce you to the stamp tool in Tux Paint. So again, I'm under the tools menu, click stamp, and you'll notice that the colors have disappeared. I have a sizing bar and this now says stamps instead of brushes. This first category of stamps is called animals and you can see 10 of them. So there's a pink arrow button. If you click going down, you'll see that there are a whole lot more that you can pick from, from fish to insects, all the way. Now if I just hold the mouse down, I can scroll really fast down to the bottom. So let's say I want to stamp a squirrel. If I click, I'll often get sound effects, and then I can click to place the squirrel in my picture. If the squirrel's too big, I can use the sizing bar to shrink him down. Now he's smaller. I can go even smaller if I want to. I can also put him back big, but I can flip him so that he's now facing in the opposite direction. Now, to go to the next category, I click a white arrow. This is six of the Tux Paint Penguins. This is called clothes. This is the food category, which is pretty big, so you need to scroll down to see everything. Hobbies, household, medical, military, natural forces, which include smoke, fire, and lightning. Then we have people stamps, plants, seasonal, from Christmas to Easter to Halloween and more, space, sports, symbols, town, and vehicles. Now some of these stamps, when you click on them, the color menu pops up because you can change the color of the stamp. So for example, right now black is highlighted and I chose the car stamp, so if I, if I stamp that image, it's going to be a black car. If I change it to red, I get the same style of car, but it's red. So experiment, find out what wonderful kinds of stamps there are and how you can make them interact with the paint tool that I introduced earlier and have fun.